easy way to introduce divorced or remarried parents. Introduction should be a very exciting dramatic time, but still appropriate and comfortable for everyone. Today, it is not unusual for parents of the bride and groom to be divorced or remarried. If this is true for your family, it is usually best to have all parents seated at their dinner table for introductions, a safe distance from each other. Only if all parents are on excellent terms with each other should you consider having them walk in the banquet room for introductions. Remember, they will be standing next to each other with all attention on them during their introduction. The spotlight in front of all your family and friends who may be busy remembering history heightens tensions that can unnerve even the best of relationships between the exes. If you really want to have divorced or remarried parents enter for introductions, it is imperative that you discuss this with them in advance. Here's what can happen if you don't discuss it. Once I consulted with a bride twice in my office about this exact subject. I asked her at each meeting, "Are you absolutely certain that your mother and father are okay about walking in with each other even though they are divorced? Have you talked to them about it?" She answered emphatically both times, "Yes, it has all been taken care of." Let's fast forward to the reception. As I'm lining up the parents and bridal party, I ask the bride's mother where Roy the ex is. Mom glares at me and says in her controlled fury, "I'm not walking in with him." Okay, lady, that's fine with me. It's time for Plan B. As you can imagine, the bride wanted her parents to walk in together so badly that she never discussed it with them. The only appropriate choice was to separately introduce this bride's parents seated at different tables. This example is not meant to frighten or discourage you from talking about personal issues with your parents. Just be sure that you do. By the way, never use the terms stepdad or stepmom. When parents are remarried, there is an easy, tasteful way to introduce each couple. For example, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the groom's mother, Barbara Vanderbilt, and her husband, Bob. Can you see how much better that sounds? Introduce everyone comfortably and appropriately by keeping it simple. Communication and preparation in advance is the key.